Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and here with me are my two good friends, Roy Hillard, Vice President of Business Development, and of course, Mr. Felix Sita, General Manager of NJFX, New Jersey Fiber Exchange. Gentlemen, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Great Thank to be you. here. Happy to be here. Uh, we're proud to have you guys in NJFX, of course, a crucial North American hub. Talk about what makes NJFX one of the best places for interconnectivity on the East Coast. What sets you apart? And I'll start with you, Felix. Uh, yeah, well, um, I guess the, the biggest factor is it's where the cables land. We are, are, we are the head end of where the, we have a couple subsea cables landing in our facility. Um, we have a TGN that lands there now, a CBRAS cable that goes down to Brazil, and the latest and greatest in transatlantic connectivity uh, coming on board later this year, uh, the AEC2 Hofru cable, which is going to Denmark, Norway, and Ireland. So we're very excited about having that. Um, and it provides better resiliency, diversity, and uh, just better overall experience for connectivity. Yeah, and there's so much uh, news being uh, heard here at ITW uh, for Hafru. I mean, everyone is, uh, is it, it's a buzz. Um, and it really sort of highlights the fact that there is this new model for connectivity lately. Can you tell us a little bit more there? Yeah, I mean, so the new model for connectivity, people are starting to realize that uh, you need Again, better resiliency for, for your connectivity, both uh, in the U.S. and international. So what better way to do that at the cable landing station? Uh, we have all the U.S. carriers on board, uh, multiple subsea providers, and now we're working with guys like Neutrona who are coming on board and provi providing all of the TAM at NJFX and starting to see the benefit of provi providing true diversity away from legacy uh, places like Florida where that, that was where all of the uh, U.S. LATAM connectivity was before, right. and you're starting to see uh, them coming up to the Northeast and saying, hey, we need to, to start doing business here um, and collect traffic from Europe, LATAM, and uh, start working with all the U.S. carriers at our uh, NJFX site. The subsea map is certainly changing. Oh yeah, absolutely. And especially uh, renewed, if, if not uh, stronger than ever, interest by the OTTs. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Not only the OTTs have changed the way they're looking at business, they really kind of led the, the, the sea change, and the, the, the kind of swip, switching the script for how to do things and building the cables that are coming out, obviously Facebook and Google being on the one coming in, uh, uh, the AAC2 Hofru. So that's fantastic. But you know what's interesting is now we're seeing the enterprises do the same shift. And so now the enterprises are looking there going, wait a minute, you know, we've got the choke points, the traditional carrier hotels and the congestion that, that Felix is talking about all around the Northeast. So how else can you take another shot at this? And so now they look at our facility going, wait a minute, you got a neutral site in the CLS, you can get data center, you can get the subsea capacity, really interconnect that with a network node, and that's been fantastic. And so that's been a really different change. So now we're seeing large enterprises across the various verticals looking at us to say, wait a minute, this is a great idea to put a node in and really start plug and play. And so that's the exciting thing that we think is going to happen, certainly already in 2019 and certainly into 2020. Yeah. Absolutely, those large enterprises really becoming carriers in and of themselves. Yeah. And also one of the big NJFX developments, we can't forget to mention this one, but let's talk about the Nordic Gateway. Yes. yes. So tell us more about that. The Nordic Gateway, yeah. So Bulk uh, just announced uh, today that they're opening up the Nordic Gateway, and so it's really from NJFX, you're able to get on to the, 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 the Hofru system going into, as, as Felix said, Ireland, Norway, and Denmark, and really creates a really unique situation, because you now you have a win-win situation between sustainability and economics. So you've got a great economical hyperscale opportunities in Norway and Denmark and now you have that's that's 98 percent renewable energy and the, the the cost is in line too. So you really create a different situation and so now being the gateway from NJFX you can now funnel all the US traffic go out there and, and take care of uh, the Norway and the Nordics but what's more important is they're you know maybe 11 12 milliseconds away from London and the rest of Europe so it's not as far away as people think and so you really now have opening up a bunch of different options that we're excited about. We're excited from bulk. We're excited to help uh, the carriers and uh, from the U.S. carriers coming out. And we're also excited by the enterprises because, again, the enterprises are saying, wait a minute, maybe I should look at Norway. So there's a lot of changes coming around, and we're excited to, for the announcement today. Uh, 
Yeah, we're excited and ITW being the perfect place to host such big news. Uh, so definitely uh, check it out and I believe it just got covered in uh, the yep. ITW Daily. So good to see that one as well. Um, so thank you gentlemen on such a news making day and spending some time with us here on JSA TV. And thank you viewers for tuning in. Happy networking.